Hey everyone, welcome back to episode 12 of our Road to Glory Career Mode with FC Schalke. I am TN Eagle, and guys, thanks for tuning in. We're getting a lot of support on this series itself. If you are watching and enjoying the videos, please leave a like. It does let me know that you are enjoying the content. Please subscribe. It lets me know that you would like to see more content. Uh, we will jump in, guys. Uh, not much administrative stuff going on. If you remember, in the last episode, we did lose... Jefferson Firefan for five weeks, I believe it was, uh, which is probably not good for us. He's really uh, one of the only guys on the squad with a little bit of pace uh, that can help us out. But um, we have some youngsters that we can get in there. We're going to put Clemens in uh, at the left wing, and uh, and then we're going to move Boateng over to the right wing and go ahead and put Draxler in at the cam. So uh, we will see what it does for us uh, moving forward. But... Here in the first game, Huntelaar is going to start us off, and we hit the post. It was actually a pretty good shot there uh, from Huntelaar, but we were unable to capitalize. But then here in the 40th minute, my opponent takes the ball, and then boom. That's a pretty good shot right there. Uh, you know, it's bottom left. What can you do? Hildebrand can't do much there um, to help us out with the save. But then, uh, wide open. And Hildebrand comes through huge right there to keep us uh, at just the one goal deficit. That could have been pretty ugly for us. Uh, obviously, we are not an offensive juggernaut, so two goals down would have been bad. But then Huntelaar again unable to put it in. So uh, the guy who pretty much carried us offensively uh, in the early part of the season is really starting to struggle, uh, to be quite honest. And here... Uh, I mean, that was just a miss. Not much you can do with it, but we're going to move into the, the 80th minute. We're just going to a little chip ball here into Hongman's son, and he will finally put one away uh, to make, bring up the equalizer at one apiece. And tell you what, I mean, yes, we paid a lot of money for this guy. Uh, reason being, I mean, he's 21 years old, uh, but he has really come through. He's really uh, looked like a very nice signing for us, and hopefully... Uh, moving forward, he would continue uh, to grow and head in the right direction for us. But, guys, that was it for that game. We couldn't get much going, obviously, there. Uh, but we do escape at least with uh, one point, which, again, we've said a, a gazillion times, one point is better than none. But uh, sometimes it's just, you know, we can't get that, that go-ahead goal or we can't get that good offensive push uh, to get us over the top. But uh, you can see here in the bottom right, uh, that as far as the league table goes, we are still in fourth. Uh, we're not playing that great, uh, but we're still hanging in there. And hopefully we can just kind of hang on until Jefferson Farfan comes back because he is really a big part of the squad. So, And here we're just going to go in. We had, uh, we had relocated a couple of the scouts, uh, but we're not getting a lot of feedback from them. So we're going to add uh, a couple of uh, Global Transfer Network instructions um, kind of looking for uh, some wingers, um, you know, not so much pacey. I don't worry too much about the pace uh, in this mode, but, uh, you know, I think you do need somebody that can shoot uh, a little bit. So we're going to put the distance shooter uh, attribute and kind of search for that. And then we'll jump into our press conference. We do have Hertha coming up. Uh, so we need to be a little bit more motivated than what we have been because we just have not been playing well. We had actually gone on a very nice streak before Farfan got hurt, but since then, it's not been pretty. So we need to uh, get the get the troops motivated, if you will. So, uh, But we're going to start off here quickly in the 19th minute. That is saved, but then we'll send it back in, and there is the guy again, Hungman Sun, uh, able to head that one in to put us up 1-0 uh, after the miss, which is a really nice save. Uh, but then just a little dink in there uh, to put us up 1-0. So that is a great start for us there in the 19th minute. And then we're going to send it down to the 33rd minute. We're going to send it down to Clemens. Pop it in. And uh, I thought, and look, uh, the keeper almost backed his way in there. But uh, I really, I thought the keeper had started coming out. So I actually tried to like lob chip that, uh, lob header it over uh, the keeper. But he ended up going back to the line. But you can see the first half there. Eight shots uh, to none, uh, but with those eight shots, we were only able to capitalize once. Uh, so we'll go to the second half with a 1-0 lead, and uh, we'll start off here with Hertha on the ball right from kickoff. 
and there goes our one nil lead. So just like that, uh, their first shot of the game, and they equalize at one apiece. That is annoying. Uh, but anyway, here's the 78th minute. We're going to get the ball in. Here's Clemens with a nice little fake shot. Come around, and there is Clemens' first goal for us uh, since coming on to the team uh, in a starting role since Forrest Fan had gone down. He had actually played a few games for us earlier in the season. I think he had scored a couple goals at that point, but uh, this ended up being the game winner. So not only does he come in and score his first goal as a starter, but it ends up being the game winner for us as well, guys. And that is an excellent way to end that game. And we will also end the episode there. Our next game coming up, uh, I believe, is a pretty big one. So you do not want to miss that, guys. I will catch you on the next episode. Please remember to like, follow, comment, subscribe, and I'll talk to you next time.